All right, guys, so we outside here. I'm, I want to apologize for the wind off gate because it's super windy out here and all the airplanes and stuff flying around. But today, what we're going to do, man, my guy, he had to change up his car. He got something new. He's going to bring in and show it to me. Um, now, he had a uh, Daytona, 392 Daytona before, you know, Mopar game, but he does have something different that he wanted to pull up and show what he has here today. And I'm going to check it out because I want to know, like, okay, you went from one of these to something different. He said it's something different. And I want to say, you know, kind of get an idea how he feels about it. But, you know, oh, that's it right there. Woo. Okay. So you can tell by the title what we're looking at, man. And what we're going to be checking out. And I can tell by the way he's rolling, this is a manual. Because I used to have one as well, too. So, here we go, man. What we got? One LE. Yes, yes. Sir. So, uh, we're going to drop the intro, all that. We're going to check out this, man. We're going we're gonna to see kind of like, you know, going from scat pack, four-door scat pack sedan over here to a Camaro one LE, man. We're going to see how this thing is. So, let's drop the intro. Today's video is brought to you by CarLock, the world's best GPS tracking and alert system. With CarLock, you'll be able to get various alerts to monitor your car, such as vehicle movement, vehicle vibrations, engine starting, the unfortunate event that your CarLock gets disconnected, you will get an alert for that too. You can purchase your own CarLock by clicking on the link down below that will give you a 10% discount on your car lock purchase as well as use my code to get a 14 day free trial with car lock as well get you a car lock you deserve that peace of mind let's get into the video all right so change of scenery because uh the other place had too many people over there uh too many people so this whole biker crew rolled up and whatnot so you see what he got ss1 le i'm not exactly sure what this blue is called but let's see what he looking like here you can see kind of the size difference already. Just kind of looking at the quick look at the car real quick. Of course, you got a four-door sedan versus a two-door coupe. I'm going to put his, like, YouTube and Instagram at the bottom here so y'all can, like, follow him and all that type of stuff. You see two-piece rotors up front, six piston Brembo's, four pistons in the back, and 305s in the rear. I think what, maybe two. We got, yeah. 285s in the front there. So pretty much the same wheel tires that he got on there, same one I got on mine. Okay, I'm gonna tell you what cars he owns. So he went from a 5.7 Charger, then he went to a 392 Scat Pack, and now we don't got rid of two doors, totally different <laughs> manufacturer to the Camaro. So man, bro, so. To the Chevy game. Yeah, so, so why we hop from Mopar to Chevy, man? So as we know, y'all know, uh, my Scat was taken. So after that, I was looking for something different, you know. I love this guy, it was fun. But for me, I needed something like, a little more handling, yeah. you know, performance wise. And I came across this. I was looking for these um, before, way before I had the scat. Word. But I didn't get it, you know. I didn't get it, I was on one part train. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, but yeah, it was hard finding this. Um, Cause these aren't that common. Is that? No. Nah. Okay. Nah. Why not a Mustang I was though? I looking like, oh, go ahead. everywhere bro. And I finally found this somewhere in North Carolina, it was like three hours away. And I had to get on it, get it, because everyone I looked at was sold. Yeah. Everyone I looked at kept selling. And I put no money down on this. I called and said, hey, I'm coming to get the car. And that was it. Word. So why not the Mustang though? To me, the Mustang just, the uh, chassis is not the same. Gotcha. The handle on this is way better. Okay. I mean, Mustang's handle too, but you know, the chassis. I they, they ain't got it. Gotcha, okay. They, they ain't got it like uh, Chevy did. Gotcha, okay. That Alpha chassis is real. Take the cake. Okay. Makes sense. Price wise, like you had to charge them for it, then you went to this. They honestly, between the sky and this, this is like 
a thousand more. Okay. I got the scat for like forty five, and I got this for forty six. Okay. All right, so, but this but ain't this ain't just not that's just the regular. Right. So yeah. this is the one elite package. Yeah. So you got suspension, brakes, because you know with the regular, you got the uh, with the regular it's four piston, but with the one elite it's uh, six piston. Okay. So it's that wheels, brakes, suspension, and you got some cooling things in here that's different. It's a lot more details on the paper, but you know I ain't no I ain't no engineer. You I know, get you. So. I get you. Yeah. So pretty much, so you pay a little bit more for this than a scat. Mm -hmm. But it's pretty much like with a scat pack, you're paying for like 45 and you're going to get like kind of like the base model yeah, scat right, pack. Right. With this one, you pretty much, you're getting more, you're getting, you're getting a lot more. You're getting you, a yeah. track car that's street capable. In a sense. Fair enough right there. Fair enough. Of course, y'all know if you get a scat pack that's not a base model, you're definitely going to be paying more than 45. Even oh, if, you, yeah. if you just put, get a regular scat pack, a couple of options on it, you're already flirting with 50 and yep, whatnot. Yep. So and the one I got was a 21. I got a deal on that. That had a uh, dynamic package on it. Yeah. And um, had the stripes and all that. So it was loaded. Lo I just didn't have no sunroof. That was it. Yeah. Or the uh, Harman Kardon. Gotcha. Okay. But uh, it was loaded. Oh, yeah. I remember seeing it. That blue was cool. Yeah, yeah. That blue was clean. But it, I got it for a steal. I can't lie. Yeah. I can't lie. So what made you go manual? Because this was a manual. Yeah. I always wanted a manual. And with a charter, you don't get that. Yeah. So with this, it's like, I'm going to get the stick. Word. I'm gonna get this. Word, word. Now, and for a lot of you guys that may not been checking out the whole channel and uh, follow me uh, from day one, so I actually had a 5.7 with the man. You might have go in it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I had a 5.7. seven. Going, oh, snap. They're about to get going. All right. Gotcha. So I had a 5.7 with the manual. Sit right there. Real deal. Three pedals and stuff like that. Um, I know you mentioned the uh, you know charge don't come with manual. If the charger would have came with a manual, I would have got in the manual 100 percent 100 percent would have did it. Bose dope. Hey, so one thing I want to ask you here, because I know I'm going from a manual to a automatic. I know it's an adjustment for me. So you went from automatic to manual. Uh, to manual. So yeah. how is that different for you though? That was um since I really wanted it, it was an adjustment, but not like a critical adjustment. Yeah. So I learned it pretty quick. Of course, you know, I stalled. Yeah. First couple days i ain't gonna lie but i caught on though okay i caught on i did the same when i got my come my, my challenger it was like um it was the first manual i had right and uh it was my daily you so gears now, they ain't gonna lie. oh yeah after a while it was yeah. second nature yeah. but at first it was a struggle it i, mean, I was yeah, like at first, i was scared of hills i ain't gonna lie I don't Me want to too. go back and hit nobody does it got like the uh, the hill assist on it it does okay it does but i mean the way it operates is weird yeah. Sometimes it's kicking. Sometimes it's like, uh, gotcha. you got to time it right. Yeah, yeah. Mine had the hill, um, the hill start assist on it. Mm -hmm. I didn't know it had it. Right. And and so the first time, like I was on the hill with a car behind me, mm -hmm. like no lie, I burned out. Like I was like, oh. it was either I roll into this car or I burn oh, out. Right, I'll yeah. take the burnout. I'll roll out. Burn I, out. I did yep. a burnout. Yep. I did a burnout. I didn't know it had hill start until I was playing with it and saw it. You know, yep. the salespeople they don't tell you all the stuff I about the car. They ain't let me so know those hill start. They didn't, I don't think they knew what they really had. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's a Camaro. Nice red brakes. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know what y'all got. Okay. Yeah. And before y'all clown me saying you need a hill start to drive a manual, that was at first I didn't know about it. Exactly. But after I after I was second nature, I didn't need it anymore. Yep. Yep. So we so, good on the hill start. Oh yeah, we good. We don't need oh, hill start. Yeah. We don't need it anymore. Now think about these Camaros here. I feel like Chevy does a really good job for stocks is also. <laughs> Yeah. I would give it to Chevy for this. The, the stock scat packs and stuff do not sound as loud as they could sound at startup. I mean, they sound pretty. And that is a stock exhaust, man. Like, 
like I said before, like Dodge stock exhaust does not sound as aggressive. I mean, it has the active exhaust and whatnot. And when you get down on it, it gets, it sounds a little bit better. But when I first got this car, this thing felt so quiet. Uh, it was crazy. car i felt like i had to go catless and do a full cat back just to get something as aggressive as that now i can tell you the stock if you heard this car stock i mean if you don't compare it to anything else you think it sounds pretty good but when you start comparing it to other stock cars like this the dodge exhaust stock is not aggressive enough i mean hellcat I don't, it doesn't matter it's not aggressive enough it does not sound nowhere close these the, stocks man i'm not gonna lie these stocks are very impressive for sure that performance exhaust it yeah, sounds good. For sure. And, I mean, it sounds like an aftermarket is off the way right. it like pops, crackles, pops, stuff like that. Verbals and all that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For sure. It sounds good. Yep. Yeah. Right, guys so now i switched out camera so he's actually going to trust me to drive the camaro and i'm about to show y'all that i actually can drive a six speed all right, all right. make sure we go here all right getting your own passenger seat is crazy 
is just real different. This car sits so much lower. The, the yeah. seats really, if you're tight in here too. It is. It is. I mean, if you're a big guy, these seats would not like you. I, I, I'm like I could feel them pressing against my yeah. my legs and stuff like that. But we in here, you check some visibility. You're not seeing nothing over there. Um, you see how we are. I'm not gonna try to miss bros. Uh, <laughs> now nah, you can to see it wasn't because I don't gotta see. Let's we'll see. Uh, yeah, the clutch in the brake. Okay, I'll just make sure. I'm trying to see where everything at. All right. Oh yeah. All right, uh, I almost messed up. Clutch, <laughs> <laughs> I ain't this in a while. Ooh, okay. Safety first, gonna put the belt on. Okay. All right, here we are, we are in here. All right. So you wanna stop in sport mode? Yeah, either or. This yeah, it's in sport right now. It's in sport, okay, so here we go. So so y'all can say, so I'm not your typical charger <laughs> drive. We know how to drive stick shifts right. around here, so we in first. the red match on or no? Uh, yeah, we can turn it on. Right, you can just flip it. That don't matter which one you hit. They both. That's it. Yeah, it's on. Oh, okay. So this is one thing you know. Ch uh, challenges do not have is the rev match. So it automatically does it for you. So when I go to downshift, boom, 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 bam, bam, and I got to do the test. That's reverse. Yeah. And it's a uh, lockout, so like yeah. I think anything. If you're going forward, then it's not gonna let you go in. Yeah, no. Nah. Okay. You gotta be like under like five miles an hour to um, really get it right. reverse. Messing with the window, my bad. And try to get it, try to get it perfect. Oh. Yeah, we in here cooking. This man got the heat on in the springtime. Oh my god! All right, here we go. We are we gonna let the window on so y'all get the full ambiance. So what everything sound right. So first gear, we ain't gonna stall. We ain't gonna stall. I he told you it. we ain't gonna he stall. Got it. He got it. Now this the, oh that rail match is so yeah. easy. I, all I did was just put in the gear and it. We don't stall over here. We don't stall over here. Hey, I'm telling you, bro, it's, it, it's a different feeling you don't see. Oh, I need a Camaro. I'll drive, I need a Camaro. I need a Camaro. I can do this. This is easy. I missed this. I missed it. That rev match. The, the rev match makes this so easy. This is not fair. This is not fair. I'm saying. A little jerky there. How you doing it though? Why not having a stick for a little bit? It's second nature, man. This is so much funner. I know I'm only going around in circles, but we ain't got enough space, so. Right, right. Yeah, it's kind of hard to do some, man. I love the heads up display. Not sure y'all yeah. can see it. But I, I could, can't see it on this side, but you can yeah, see how fast but, you go in the revs. Yeah, the and I can see right now, I see my G-forces. Yep. I, I can see my um, my rev limiter. When I get a high in rails, they'll start blinking and stuff. Yep. It's like straight video game stuff, man. This is one thing about Chevy I really like. Yes. They really have, they do a good job with technology. Yeah. Um, now, I know his car doesn't have it, but I drove a Z01 before. Yeah, and the camera. The camera in the mirror, and it's so crystal clear. It it's is. really clear. Um, and, and I feel like they stepped up their technology. I mean, since 2015, I feel like Chevy has added this stuff to the car. A lot. For sure. With everything you can do, yeah. you can customize exhaust. Like right now, normally since it's the MPP exhaust, um, whatever mode you're in determines the valve's gonna be open. Yeah. Like Tour, I think it opens after 3500. Sport stays open. Um, it only closes when you're driving like a consistent speed. Yeah. Tracks open all the time. But right now, I don't know if it'll let me get into it. Okay, you go for it. But right now, I got the valve set to always open. Interesting, I like yeah, that. Yeah, I got it's track, so they're always gonna be open. Why would we want to close them? Right, we want to hear it. Exactly, we want everybody else to hear it too. Now, when I get up for work, <laughs> I might close them some days. You You're, nicer to, day. You're nicer, you know? to <laughs> <laughs> You're nicer to me. You're nicer to me. You're nicer to me. I think about my people sometimes, though. You do? Yeah, I, I, I do. You're much nicer to me. I do. I don't. Now when I had a scat, I ain't had the option. I said, yeah. y'all getting it. Yeah, that, y'all getting it. Yeah, now the Mustangs have that. They have yeah, the they ability do, they do. to um I do like that. to to select your different uh exhaust modes. Right. Uh of course Camaro does, but Dodge does not. I mean we have no. the active exhaust, but you really can't control the active yeah, exhaust. You really can't. And like that. I mean you can put in different drive modes and whatnot and it'll yeah, see that's the thing that's a big thing too when I when I came to Chevy. Like when you change the modes, the exhaust changes too. And when you um if you're quiet, you can hear the valves like move. Yeah, you hear. Them. Oh yeah, especially when you crank up the car, you, mm -hmm. it does a little squeak sound, yep, you know, yep. and all that type of stuff. And I like the shift. There's like no yeah. play in it, man. Yeah. Um, I like kind of trimming. Yeah. I think the TR sixty sixty. Okay, like like with the with the challengers. Um, yeah, I it, noticed that. They man. they got a lot of play in it. Scat. They it got a lot of play. A lot of play in and it. And the throws are like yeah. kind of long. This is kind of like a short throw. 
And also, one thing here, I can see what gear I am. Right, yeah. This is, man, this is one fight. I mean, in my in my order, um, I like I like out of the the big three, uh -huh. um, it's always be me between the Challenger and the Camaro. I never yeah. it was a really a Mustang fan. I respect the cars for what they are. I like them. I like yeah. the sound though. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. But I always like the Challenger for the look of the retro look, yeah. and I, I like, and I kind of like the Mer uh, the Camaro because of like the technology that's yeah. in it. Um, I, I think GM does a really good job of putting the technology in the cars. I yeah. think that's something that uh, like that, even with the rev match, yeah, that, and like no lift shit. Yeah, it's, it's built into the car, so you won't break it as long as you are above a certain point. Exactly. Like it's, with the uh, SSs, it's uh, above fifty five hundred, and you can no lift shit freely without you know worrying about breaking something technically. For sure, for sure, and, and I miss I miss driving a manual, man. I, I mean, I, yeah. the automatic's quicker by far. Right. I, I know, I know, I, I raced <laughs> plenty of automatics with my manual Challenger, yeah. and yeah. I was shifting my tail off the, yeah. the, the state with them. Um, but the manual is just a different it, it driving something experience. Something about banging them gears, man. Yeah, really feeling the power of the car. For sure, man. Ah, I needed to get that in my system, man. <laughs> I like driving, man. Y'all don't understand. Oh man. And this is one thing I, I, I do in my car. Mm -hmm. Like I'm so used to just backing up and just yep. cutting it off. Yeah. Like yep. in my car, like I got a reverse, I keep forgetting to put it back yeah, in park. Yeah, yeah. The mail, you just turn off handbrake. So I got to drive it. I had to switch to my other camera here, but after driving this thing, I really, really do miss driving the manual now. Um, you never driven Camaro. Um, it's definitely um it if you struggle getting in low cars and things like that, this is gonna you're not gonna like this. Uh yeah. I'm yeah, yeah, the challenge is easy, but getting out. Yeah, getting out, getting out was a little bit of a struggle. I mean, I mean, if, if it doesn't bother me because like, my car is low, so it, it's a little bit different getting out my car with it lowered. But, but still, even with my car lowered, this still is like stepping up out of the car. Yeah. Um, it, my Challenger was lowered too, and it, and it still didn't feel like I was stepping up out of the car. Right. Um, it, it just a totally different feeling with this even type my of car. Daytona, it didn't feel like getting out of this. Right. It was low, but it didn't feel like. Like that, get out the barrel. All right, y'all, we in the scat. Yeah, so I mean, I'm, I'm not used to being on this side of my own car. Sports modes. Now he had driven a scat before. I don't think he's driven a wide body scat. Nah, that's I own a narrow body. I didn't own a wide body though. You feel a difference? Oh yeah. Woo. The wide body did get better. It does. Please. Yeah. Okay. It hooks up a lot better. And handling wise, it feels good too. Versus the narrow body, you don't get a lot of that body roll. Come back. This scat, y'all, I'm telling y'all, scats are something else. And the brakes. Scats got that, um, they really got a good bite on their brakes. This is a fun car, bro. For sure. Let me get out of this car. <laughs> All right. Let, let me get out of here. All right, guys, so that's gonna wrap up today's video, man. It was real good getting back behind the manual. It's been a while since I've driven the manual, and um, it was good getting behind the wheel of one. And yes, I can drive a manual pretty easily, so that's that's nothing for me. Uh, of course, still got the car over here, man. So I wanted to check this out. I wanted to see how the SS1LE feels. I've never driven a, a SS1LE. Um, I've, driven, I've driven a ZL1LE, um, but I haven't driven the SS. I still have not driven a Mustang. Um, I'm willing to 
check that out and see how that feels versus this car. But I'm like I'm saying, this car does have a lot of technology, a lot of solid stuff in it. Um, but let me know your thoughts on this particular car or, or anything like that. But we're going to catch you on the next video. We're out. Cut it. Thank you.